The chief also says the 911 call centers were flooded with complaints about illegal fireworks. But the chief added one of the biggest problems that the city faced this 4th of July is there simply were not enough paramedics and ambulances available to handle all of the calls. Crown Force Jonathan McCall is here in the studio. He has the latest details. Jonathan. Yeah, Pam and Ken, there's so much violence and so many calls for service that ambulances and paramedics had a hard time trying to keep up with all of those calls. The chief said that once again, seven shootings happening within a 12 period, 12 hour period. This is video of one of those shootings. Police say a 45 year old man from Oakland was shot along International Boulevard just before 11 o'clock last night. Officers believe the man was hit by bullets that were fired as celebratory gunfire tonight. That man still listed in critical condition. Ambulance service to the city of Oakland is provided through Falk Ambulance Services as part of a five-year contract with Alameda County. The agency provides EMS services to all of Alameda County with the exceptions of Alameda, Albany, Berkeley, and Piedmont. Tonight, we are working to find out just how many calls for service the agency responded to during that 12-hour span that Chief Armstrong mentioned today. We're also trying to learn if there were any delays in responding to the most critical calls and if it may have had an impact. Chief Armstrong now crediting his own officers for stepping up to the plate to provide life-saving measures to many of the victims, but he says even his officers were concerned about the lack of EMS service. What worked well is our officers' dedication and hard work. The fact of the matter is that these officers were going from one scene to another. They still was able to provide emergency medical care to those individuals that were suffering from gunshot wounds. Uh, our Falk ambulance system was over inundated with calls and they were unable to respond in a timely manner to these shootings. Uh, and so everybody was consumed with these issues. Not only the police department, also ambulances didn't have enough resources to come out and assist in the city of Oakland. And that just goes to show you to the level of violence that we were managing is that we didn't have ambulances available to help uh, you know come and provide medical support it was taking a significant amount of time for them to get there and that even concerned our officers uh, where officers were asking hey you know we are waiting a, a long time for ambulances to get here and, and that was challenging for us when you're trying to provide uh, emergency support to people trying to help them with their injuries uh, you want to you, you know you want to have an ambulance available and unfortunately uh, so much was going on that that they just didn't have it. As part of its contract, paramedics have up to 10 minutes to respond to priority one level calls inside of metro areas. Those are very high priority calls like shootings and other critical emergency services. Once again, 10 minutes within an area of where there are 2,000 people inside of a square mile. Those are for metro areas as part of that contract with Falk and with the county of Alameda. Cron 4 has reached out to not only Falk, but also the Alameda County EMS board for more information about some of the questions we had so far. We have yet to hear back. As soon as we do, we'll let you know what they have to say. Jonathan McCall, Cron 4 News. Jonathan, thank you.